10 tiny macOS Sonoma features. First is emoji recommendations. When typing, if you hit the emoji key, your Mac will automatically suggest an emoji based on the last word that you typed. Now you can easily make web apps with Safari. Go to the website you want to make an app out of, hit the share button, click add to dock. You can choose a name for it and then add. Now when I go down to the dock, you can see that my YouTube app is in the dock waiting for me. I don't love this icon, so I'm going to go to macosicons.com. I'm going to download this dark mode YouTube icon and swap it real quick. With Sonoma, we can now FaceTime with live captions. To turn this on, search live captions in system settings. Select live captions from the results and toggle live captions in FaceTime on. Photos can now recognize the faces of your pets. If I scroll down and click her profile picture, it'll show me a curated mosaic of all my photos. Now you can have separate profiles in Safari, each with their own favorites bar, history, and tab groups. Here you can see I now have my personal profile and my Mac Pro Tips profile. Now your Mac can make a digital version of your personal voice for use across your devices. Does this hat make me look awesome? I waited a full day, so the voice render should be complete. I'm going to go to System Settings, Accessibility, Live Speech, and I'm going to turn Live Speech on. Under Voice, I'm going to select my personal voice. Let's see how it sounds. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mac Pro Tips here with another sweet tip for Mac. You'll notice that when you click your desktop, Sonoma will automatically reveal your desktop. To turn this off, go to Desktop and Dock, scroll down, and under Click Wallpaper to reveal desktop, select Only in Stage Manager. You can now say Siri instead of Hey Siri when you want to activate Siri on Mac. To activate this, go to System Settings, Siri and Spotlight, make sure Ask Siri is checked on, and under Listen For, select Siri or Hey Siri. Now you'll get this little annoying caps lock icon. Uh, when caps lock is activated. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. You've probably heard of it by now, but game porting toolkit is too good of a feature to not mention. Pair it with crossover 22 for best results and play incredible games like Hellblade, Humanity, and other Windows-only games.